Yes, guys, how is it going? Welcome back to the adventure. The Premier League is back. The greatest league in the world returns. And we're starting off at Selhurst Park for Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Arsenal are no strangers to opening day drama. They were beaten 2-0 at Brentford last year on the opening day and also pulled off an incredible 4-3 victory over Leicester a couple of years ago at the Emirates. Palace are looking to build on their respective 12th place finish last season. They're looking to get into the top half of the table and a win today would really do the confidence in the squad a world of good. Selhurst Park is going to be absolutely electric and the house is going to be brought down, especially if Crystal Palace can grab a result. Arsenal are looking to spoil the party and to start their momentum for a Champions League push. So it is time to cross to South London to Selhurst Park for Palace versus Arsenal for the first game of the Premier League season. Let's go. Yes, guys, we have made it to London for Crystal Palace versus Arsenal. Do you know what the mad thing is? I've done this walk from Euston to King's Cross a hell of a lot. I've never thought to come up this little ramp at the St Pancras Hotel. That is a view and a half. I know it's not obviously like Leicester or Trafalgar Square, but it's still pretty good. Anyway, Palace versus Arsenal. Obviously, last year, Palace slapped Arsenal at Selhurst Park and a crazy 2-2 draw at the Emirates. I think Edward scored in like the 81st minute and then Arsenal got like a 94th minute penalty for no reason. Or I know it might have been a penalty, it might not have been, but I know Lacazette scored a very, very late goal and Vieira was furious and didn't even stay around to clap the Arsenal fans even though he's an absolute legend there. So yeah, it's time to get Selhurst Park. Never been before, so it's another ground to tick off for me. Let's go. Premier League opening day. Couldn't be more excited. Okay, we have made it into Selhurst Park. We're in the Arsenal end today. I'm very, very excited to start off the new season. Obviously, Arsenal looking to win, unlike last year against Brentford. Unfortunately, they were smashed by Palace last time as well. So it'd be great to see Arsenal get off to the start that they need to get that Champions League push. Obviously, new signings in Chenko and Jesus, both start. Ben White's going to play right back. No Tommy Asu, he's out injured. Very, very strong team from Arsenal today. I think it's theirs to lose. But the momentum from, from Palace will be will be big, will be great, but it's our sustainability. It's Salah's Finished in Elan. Oh, it's weird seeing him for Arsenal. Oh, we're 
brilliant centre part in by the way, I wish we had that. That's it. And uh, they're headed in brilliantly by Martinelli. Not sure. I know Martin know we got the touch, but I had to look on my score to see who scored. But Sinchenko Shane is getting some round. Brilliant corner, great goal, one nil Arsenal, the Premier League is off. Oh! He's still got it. Oh fucking hell. Saka and Martinelli look very dangerous. Jesus makes some fantastic runs in the midfield uh, into attack. They need a goal and they got it from a set piece that come from a training ground routine. Corner whipped in. Sinchenko headed it back across, only needed a touch and it got one from the Brazilian boy from Sao Paulo, Martinelli. He has got the first goal of the Premier League season. Now since the goal, Arsenal have, have died off the gas a little bit. I would have thought maybe Arteta would have gone and grabbed that second goal, but they haven't. They've let the pressure come at them a little bit on the counter-attack on the left-hand side, especially with Will Zahar. He's been the dangerous player, but about five minutes before our time, Palace started coming down the other side with Eze and Benteke as well. Benteke had a... It was a bit of pinball in the box. It came towards Ramsdale. Brilliant, brilliant block by Xhaka. Ramsdale made a really, really good save from a Palace free kick about five minutes prior as well. It's Arsenal's game to lose. The second goal will finish the game off and that'll be game over. And Arsenal will be at the top of the table. But a Palace goal completely changed its momentum. Their atmosphere section hasn't stopped to be fair and neither of the away fans. The atmosphere is special. But that's going to bring an end to my analysis. Don't want it to get too long and you guys get bored. Half time, 1-0 Arsenal. Let's cross to the second half. Also, just going to apologise to the Palace fans. I know you guys are kicking towards the home cell end in the second half. It's really, really difficult for me to film that end because the away end is so far forward. I could hardly see it on the left hand side. This flag's coming to get me here. <laughs> anyway, so apologies to you guys. I won't be able to show as much as I want in the Palace end in the second half. I'll try and get the limbs if you guys score. It's going to be mainly Arsenal down here. So apologies for that, guys, in advance. Here we go, second half underway. Oh! 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 Oh, did my stop brilliantly! Oh, it's unlucky. Okay. It's good way to pass on that. And again, has to take that on his right. Corner. Really, really struggling with Will Zahar. He's skinning him, he's putting him on his 
stars twice in the past day. The first one was brilliantly safe from Aaron Ramsdale. He's kept his side but, uh, in front. What a save from Ramsdale, but Ben White is struggling. Corner for Arsenal. Saka's got some good corners in today. This is done well, Erdogan, Jesus! Oh, what a chance for Arsenal to win the game. Just got a bit muddled up, those two. The chemistry there is just a little bit, it's offside anyway, but what a chance. Arsenal dictating, but there's still 20 to go. Palace have got a chance, and they look like scoring to be fair, but Arsenal in control, just need to keep them from going to. Saka, oh, he's placed it over, big chance. Good chance that for Saka, snatched it in a little bit, plays it over, big chance. Okay, 15 minutes to go at Solhurst Park, it is going to be a hell of an intense one for us. Obviously, one nil up, Cru not cruising, but it's really, really looking dangerous on the right side, went to half. He's skinning them by like, seven to the shot. Unfortunately, right, I mean, as much as Saka is a brilliant player, can be a bit greedy at times. There's a couple of chances that he's been able to get the ball across the box, and then he's been opting to take the shooting route and send it's not always been the best choice. Arsenal look good on their right hand side with Saka and Erdogan. Jesus makes some brilliant runs. Arsenal need a second goal. Can they hang out on one? Potentially. Not certain though. Zinchenko's making the way. Need some legs at the back. Arsenal under a lot of pressure at the moment. I'm surprised Ben White's not coming up. I'm really surprised that Zinchenko are not that right because all Palace are doing is coming out of the left foot to half. He's, he's running them right back. Yes, this could win it. Screen, right, it's in the stand where we can't even see, so we've been having to keep pop and 
count on our phones to be honest all game so I can't even see how many minutes are left. Uh, I thought Palace were the better team in the second half to be fair. Fox at heart absolutely skimmed them white. He's going to need to improve if he's going to play in that right back position. But it is a new position for him, so I'll let him off on this one. What Palace are excellent, probably should have scored. Ramsdale denied them really well twice. And also obviously got that second goal with Bakayo Saka taking a deflected effort and sending this end into absolute delirium. Final score 2 0 Arsenal. They're top of the league. Brilliant performance. So there we go. That is going to bring an end to the first game of the Premier League season. And if that's anything to go by, we're in for one. One hell of a ride. Brilliant performance from Arsenal. They grinded it out in the second half after Palace really came at them and managed to get a 2 0 victory to send them top of the table. Enjoy your night, Gunners. You deserve it. Celebrate into the night. Absolute carnage going on outside. I'm going to have to push through that to get a train back to Manchester. It's going to be a very late one for me. If you have enjoyed, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more adventures. The season has started and I am back with some brilliant vlogs over the next couple of weeks. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out from Selhurst Park. Long way back. But a very, very big smile on my face.